for you. There it goes. What's up, everybody? She Funk here. And uh, we're here at Full Orbital, which happens to be uh, the main base for the faction that I play for, Taco Corp. And I'm about to show you what it's like to actually play the new expansion. You can see we're actually in the station for once. Uh, this is a new thing you can do in Odyssey. And I'm going to pick up a few missions. We're going to do them and turn them in. It's a pretty straightforward process uh, with the new thing, but it's just a little bit different than how we're used to doing it uh, back in the day. As you see, like for example, this guy right here has a mission. We'll see what he has. I want the situation dealt with promptly. You understand? Uh, let's see here. So he tells me it's a threat level four mission. Uh, let's see what the details are. Okay, so here's the job specifics. Okay, so that's not bad. So he wants us to go to Barnett Synthetic. Sorry, Barnett Synthetic in Savara, and. Kill this guy named Do It Solar. We have six hours to do it. His target is in combat and well equipped for be prepared. So that's okay. So let's um, we'll see how much it pays for. One million. Sure, we'll do that one. Assuming everything goes to plan, I'll see you soon. All right. So that's one mission. That's for a mission. Interested in a job? I'm looking for the right person to do the wrong thing. I can... This certainly isn't the sort of thing I'd want to sully my own hands with. Okay, I haven't really done missions yet. Um, shut it off. Out on a hell that of one wants me to at least steal something, and I'm not, um, equipped enough to feel good in those type of missions yet. I get, you know, shot at People who need a lot. To pay for it. You want in? This guy usually gives me... Uh, data ones. What a terrible situation, huh? Nope, another one. Uh, illegal. Never mind. But if you know anyone with less scruples, please do send them my way. Alright. Check. And don't mind what it is. I might have something for you. It's one of those get in, get the job done, get out situations. Uh, no thanks. Plenty a lot of people stuff would going on today. Like this. Oh, uh, this person usually has a mission. I'm looking for someone to do some off the books work for me. It'd be best for everyone concerned yeah. if you weren't caught. Especially for you. You're missing out on a hell of an opportunity here. Oh, well, I don't want to do it, lady. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of missions we actually have. So, this is the new interface. And on this interface, you still see all the minor powers, but you can filter it by person, right? And because we're Taco Corp, I want to actually filter Taco Corp only missions. Now, these are all the Taco Corp only. Looks like they got two combat, four transportation, one procurement, one salvage, and some um, support. Let's see what the transportation ones are. Hey, that looks interesting. We can either, well, we could do all three if we wanted to, but I'm going to at least uh, do one in this recording of these three, and I'll do doing all three any eventually. But, um, fetch the personal documents from a uh, settlement. Another fetch the biological sample from a settlement. Uh, looks like it's the same type of base, maybe a different um, location, who knows. Hell, all three seem to be in the exact same. Um, well, for the purpose of this, uh, at least recording, we'll do one and I'll do the rest later. That one first. So, we've got a mission where we have to kill a guy. We have a mission where we gotta collect some item in a base, which is a new cool thing to do. And what's the support one? I think the support one is usually just as fun to, to show off. Yeah, there we go. 
uh, reactivation of a uh, of a base. So we get to do all three uh, types that you can do. Well, there's more types, but three different types that I want to do. Now, since I picked up two missions at the uh, terminal, I can redeem them within my ship when we're done. And then the last one, we actually go, got to go back to this guy that we talked to and turn it into him. Um, we'll go back to our ship and get going. Like I said, I've been having some fun with this lately. I've been playing during my downtown at work and uh, got a chance to learn the missions, get used to the controls and all that stuff. So, yeah. Look at this, I'm walking to my ship, guys. This is something I've never got a chance to do, and you can finally do it. Like, it makes more sense to walk to your ship than, like, you're in your ship permanently, you know? And, say one thing before we leave. Wait for it to load. Alright, so, your old way of doing things is still there. It's just... The regular mission board, just like we saw within the building, but the interface is different where it says mission board and pasture lounge. See, the pasture lounge wasn't listed on the, uh, uh, so, as for pastures themselves, you can click on here, and you have group transportation, which is, you know, the deal where it has, like, you know, 22 tourists or whatever, and then you have the personal transportation, which are, like, the VIPs and the, and the, uh, drug bosses and all that stuff and again they're separated by the minor powers but uh, I don't have a ship that's equipped for that so you know whatever and then there's your community goals go ahead out of this and uh, let's go ahead and get going So they kind of want us to do this right away, so we'll go ahead and do that first. We'll do the takedown first. The uh, interface for <coughs> excuse me for uh, um selection of planets, or at least the solar systems, I mean, um, has changed a little bit. I did, I did it kind of too fast just now, but, um, it's a little bit detailed of how you can find, um, certain systems. Because it was already pre-selected of, uh, Savara, you know, I, I couldn't show you the new interface to search for one. I'm going to do that a little bit later uh, when it comes to looking for maybe a particular one if we're doing like a a, a trade mission or whatever because you can still build stuff and I do want to do some trading eventually but um, it's this stuff I'm really enjoying doing it over and over again. Alright, so he should be... Uh... Wow. Really that far? Yep, yeah, he's right that far. Oh, fun. Well, looks like we're going to be here for a while, guys. 
So, if you're watching this right now on YouTube, um, and you want to um, skip through this traveling, you can. I am not going to edit this video. Um, I'd rather show the raw version of how this uh, goes. So, um, if you want to skip ahead to um, me actually getting to Savara C1, uh, you can click on the link in the description below. And, um, other than that, just you know, sit here and chill with me as we're waiting. It's going to take about a good 20 minutes minimum that I'm, that I'm aware of at least to get there. Anyway, while we're doing that, let me show off the, uh, the new interface. So, the new interface, um, as you can see right there, uh, I think all of this, the combat exploration trade yeah, exobanologist rank is new. So that's the one where we actually have to um, explore new planets, be like first footfall or whatever, scanning for life forms, you know, all that other stuff. So um, I've yet to do that, but I'm going to do that this weekend, or at least a little bit after I'm done recording uh, this video. Um, I am going to record my first footfall. I already know of a location that I want to go to that I can almost guarantee first footfall, but I don't want to show it in this video. Um, you see it uh, for the actual, uh, you know, when I get there. Anyway, um, they have new engineers, and one of them I've actually unlocked already. Um, it was uh, this guy right here. So. I took a shuttle out of uh, just the shuttles, you know, see how that works. And I travel at least 100 light years. And uh, this chick uh, pretty much messaged me and says, I need her five push, whatever that is. And she allows me to work on engineering calls strategic. What that is, I have no clue. Um, all I know is I know her location at least. Which is, you know, that one right there. And, um, not too far from location, but I mean, well, I'll have to play with that later. But, uh, there's a, another person, looks like they do a engineering called Dynamic and one called Force. So, we'll have to, have to learn that a little bit later. Um, None of the other engineers have any extra new-ish stuff to do. They're going to be pretty much all the same. So it looks like they only uh, had three. Wow, this one's new. Oh. She's down there in a freaking uh, Colonia area. <laughs> It'll be a while until I see what that person's all about. Aim with that person. That person's, you know, close, and that person's way far away. Anyway, <laughs> um, wrong side. So, what else is new is um, they now have you no know, landing now. Auto landing is pretty cool because you know how you're you're trying to land on a planet and you're always looking for the sweet spot. Well, the auto landing, as long as you have your uh, uh, landing gear down, it it looks for that sweet spot for you by slowly you know going thrusting forward, and then when it gets that sweet spot, it, it just auto lands. And just you know have to worry about you know timing and everything. It's not that perfect, but, I mean, it does the job. Uh, inventory changed a little bit. Um, where is it? Oh, it's under, not inventory, storage. 
we now have consumables. The consumables are uh, related to um, what you can hold on you as you're on foot. So you have your energy cells, a frag grenade, a med kit, a disruptor, a shield protector, and that's it. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's another item, but I've yet to find it yet. All the bases I've been to so far have not sold it. It's like a hacking device that allows you to hack doors. I'm not sure why I can't find them. Maybe because they're illegal in the first place and they're supposed to be super rare. Because um, when it comes to hacking, there's two different ways of hacking. You can either use the hacking device or you can scan somebody's body that has a certain level to enter certain doors and that's another way of doing it. Uh, there's my asset, my goods, and looks like I got the goods to do those missions. Uh, that what I was supposed to do. We get the power regulator to the store the power. And I don't know why I have a ship schematic. Um, was that? Oh, that was from when I did the mission and it failed and I still have this ship schematic on me for some odd reason. Well, the funny thing is, and I think it's a, it might be a bug, when you do a mission where you're supposed to gather an item and turn it in, you turn it in, but you still have to keep the item. So, like, you turn the item, it's worth just as much as the mission was. <laughs> I like that. It's kind of weird that I still have the ship schematic, because that's that was the mission I was doing last night work. Anyway, um, and then there's the data that we collect uh, if we got to steal some data from a base. So, it's like you can actually collect data and sell the up manually it's like there's like data ports everywhere right and then there's just actual missions where like you know how you used to just deliver data now you get the data and then deliver it to the station that wants the data kind of like the old school part we get to do the preliminary part first which is pretty cool um let's see everything else is about the same over there so over here is a little bit different um they have pretty much every single landable site uh, they can walk around is on the base now. So like, you know, this one right here, Beher Landing, uh, is one of them new uh, bases that you can land at. Now there's two, there's only two um, landing spots and I don't think they're actually restricted. Um, I'm currently flying around in my small ship right now. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can land on your Corvette or bigger ship or whatever. Uh, just yet to try it out. Um, so there's that difference. Uh, the transaction logs are a little different. I mean, you can still see your different types of, uh, missions. Here, there's your, uh, passengers your claims, your fines, and your bounties. And that's still the same. They changed to this there. Uh, you can actually uh, change your loadout of what you have on you as long as you're in your ship. If you are in a taxi, you cannot change your loadout. Um, but I'll show you this. So right now I have my default uh, flight suit, which I don't think you can delete or sell. Anyway, I'm wearing a Maverick suit, Mark II, and why is it not? There you go, man, it's laid out. And this is where I can, like, select which weapons I want to use. Right now I have a plasma rifle and a kinetic, um, A kinetic uh, pistol. Um, as you can see, there's engineering slots. Since I don't have engineering unlocked yet, or at least went to the first engineer to see what she does, um, I won't be able to do anything to these suits or the weapons. Eventually, upgrade your suits and your weapons and stuff like that. Um, you yeah, see, that's my default layout, and it's just a flight suit. And um, I believe you can walk around. It's just I have really 
quickly tried it. When I first started playing Odyssey, I bought a suit right away. So, like, I never tried walking on a planet with my default uh, flight suit. We can, but I don't know. The Maverick is actually a pretty cool looking suit. But, um, there's that. Um, you can see your ships. Uh, there's your SRV and your crew. And if you're in a ship uh, that has multi-crew, uh, you can see a little bit more detail of your um, multi-crew members, or you can invite them uh, via this panel. Now, um, up here is pretty much the same. Nothing too crazy. Oh, it looks like I. Uh, oh, that was yesterday. I'll say I came across somebody. state I'm playing in the Mobius private server so it's at least people that know they won't gank you <laughs> but looks like we still got another four minutes to go so we're just gonna sit here and wait I hate that my first mission uh, to show off is going to take a long time to get there but you know me how I do my recordings I do everything in so, um, at least if you're still watching right now and hear me babble and talk about new things, um, uh, that's good. Um, anything changes squadrons? Let's see here. No, it looks like squadron is still the same. Nothing new in the interface. Um, down that news, I think it's pretty much yeah it's still the same um here's your galactic powers still the same Looks like Agna Mand is uh number one again still changed what I I went into uh <laughs> Cali meat wagon the other day and um I was like did you realize that a lot of these superpowers actually have certain looks to them like that's Ferris Bueller and then um you know, I don't know who the other ones remind me of like he looks like I don't know Van Diesel or something I don't know he looks like somebody from World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, I forget what he said. I think he says she looks like some like a night elf or whatever, or <laughs> some <Sort of> anime character. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, check this out while we're waiting. So, see, we're doing this. Uh, well, we're not going to this location right now, but when we get to what was that? Oh, four forces. Anyway, when we get to forces and get to fellow synthetics exchange, uh, it's going to be all powered down, and we need uh, power regulators. Well, even though it's down, we have a way to at least bring up certain systems uh, one by one. One of them being the doors, and um, instead of hacking the doors, uh, they gave us the level three uh, authorization. Now, this one right here, uh, we're supposed to look for the personal documents in the settlement. Now, yes, the doors do have authorizations you have to have in order to get in, but um, it's like this. It could be either in a lucky area where it requires zero authorization, 
but if it does require authorization, there's two ways to get in. One is you wait for somebody who is walking around to walk near the door and open the door for you by mistake. And what's funny, they don't even chase you. Or you try to scan somebody without them looking at you and steal their, their identity to have a level based on the door you're trying to go through. So there's that one. Um, as for the one we're about to do, when I did a takedown uh, the other day, um, it mentioned something about going to a base. And when I got to the location, it was just him next to a ship, and he was just chilling. And I was like, I feel bad killing this guy, but I went to kill him anyway. And what's funnier is, um, instead of killing him on foot, I got in my SRV and killed him in my SRV. <laughs> but that's the cool thing. Um, and I'll do it again if it's that type of mission. I'm going to get out on my SRV like I normally do and then you can get out of your SRV and uh, that's what's pretty cool about what you can do and speaking of SRVs uh, there are certain missions uh, or at least certain settlements that will have like just some SRV just laying around and you can actually what you do is you get underneath it and you open up the maintenance portal and you can take all the computer chips and stuff to disable the uh, <laughs> the SRV. Um, can you do that to another player's um, SRV? I don't know. I've not really tested that yet. Um, but that would be very interesting to uh, you know walk up to a friend and disable his SRV and he's kind of stranded, even though he can you know call a ship, but still. <laughs> Like a dick move, you know. All right, so we got close to a minute and thirty five seconds to go. Even though the time is going slow, but we are getting there in a reasonable time. Um, here, this stuff is resetting me. Well, I have no power issues, but I like to still set them up in case. Let's see, thrusters, rider, vehicle, usually have that at four. Oh, you know why? Because I have no weapons. There's no need to really change it. Never mind. The only thing weaponized I have on the ship is a point defense turret. The uh, one small thing they did to your ships uh, that's brand new. See how that light's blinking? That's new. And I think there's one in the. Yeah, see, there's lights you can see clearly on the side now. Um, there's supposed to be some more lights in the bottom. See, or was that on my. Uh, was that the same one? That's the same one. Let's see here. Yeah, there's one in the bottom and one in the top. And then when you look at, you know, like my Corvette, for example, the Corvette has a lot more blinking lights on it, and it's pretty cool. Alright, so we're almost there to get in orbit. Gotta make sure I don't misapproach. Because literally, you go to a planet, and then the, uh, the landing site is the opposite side of what you're looking at, and it doesn't properly slow you down. I 
hell, last night did that to me. I was on the approach to a planet, like I am right now, and before I got a chance to react, um, because I like to read on my phone uh, while I'm at work, at least uh, catch up on the uh, news for um, cryptocurrencies and stuff. Anyway, um, I'm on a approach like this, knowing I got at least another 30 seconds or so, all of a sudden, I was like, and I was like, ran smack to the planet. I was like, what happened? And then I realized that the uh, the thing was on the other side, and it, it didn't know it's going to orbit. It tried to go straight, and I was like, wait a second. If it knows it's on the other side, at least go into orbit, and then, you know, line yourself into it. And that's what it's supposed to do, but, eh, whatever. If you're currently watching on YouTube and you've gotten this far, I love you. <laughs> but we are almost there. Properly slow down this time, that's good. Alright, what side of the planet do we gotta land on? Hopefully, it's on the sunny side. I've yet to do a mission where the base is on the sunny side, so I've never truly experienced walking around a base where the sun is shining. See what it's like in the complex zone. Okay, where's his? Okay, so there's an encrypted signal. Orbital flight engaged. Right. Orbit. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm trying to redirect me. Automatically, where'd it go? Did I select it? Lock. There's this. Oh, it's on the other side. So that's why I wanna go into manual orbit. Send too soon, then I worry about going. Have to go back up, you know. There it is. Slow down. It's not going to be in the sunny side. That's okay. Sun's coming up in this one spot. Alright, so this is gonna be a deal where he's next to his own ship. 
and we need to we gotta prevent him from fleeing. So we gotta do this real quick. So you see this is the new auto landing sequence. It's found the right alignment. And now it's going to go down. And touchdown. Did not get my bearing as it was. I think he was more straight. I should have landed near him. I didn't realize how hilly this was going to be. have a sniper so that's the problem probably him down there can't tell I need to fix the lighting issue in this game. Oh, there he is. No, oh, that's up. Oh, he's right there. Or is that part of the light? Get my scarab.
signal over there. Let's see if that's um. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Ooh, I ran past it. So we're done here. Took us 45 minutes, but whatever. So landing is automatic, but uh, taking off is not. That's okay. Go ahead and get in space, then we'll set our course. Sometimes you gotta be far enough from the planet to uh, be in the line of the next area. Okay, so that was the professional takedown. Let's do the personal document one now. So, there. Oh, that one's in the HR 1980. That's our final destination. Uh, let's see, is this one the same area? No. Okay, I guess we'll do the uh, turn on the power one next. I want to do the uh, the third one last because it's already in the system where we have to be. Did I select it? No, I didn't. All right, let's try again. Open that. There it goes. Frame shift drive charging. I'll be right back. Expect the company soon. I was gonna make sure my doors unlocked because I told them to come in when I get here. Okay, here we go. So this particular mission. Oh, great, we're wanted here. Well, hopefully it won't be as troublesome. If it is, then we're going to automatically um, fail one. Let's do this. I gotta go. That's our location. So it looks like I can go here. Wait. That's a planet. What? Was there not a space station here? Station? Two space stations. Outpost. Falls. Surface ports. Surface settlements. We want to go to port. Stations over there. Where's this one? Oh, our mission's on the exact same area. Well, let's yellow it. Fuck it. Alright, here we go.
All right, so let me go over the objective of this uh, particular mission again. So this mission we're about to do is very similar to the uh, real mission that you did uh, when you first started playing um, Odyssey. Um, on this one, we're going to have to go into a building. Uh, what I just realized that all the buildings have different type of acronyms. And this one's going to be, obviously, PWR, meaning power. And, um, they gave us a regulator, uh, which allows me to reactivate the power station. And after that, the whole station will be lit up and, and you know, ready for use again. They're pretty much looking for a mechanic that knows how to reactivate stations. And while technically I'm not trained, uh... I just, I I think it's simple to just you know put in a battery and then like that's it. That's all you have to. Really do. <laughs> so I'm getting paid a hundred thousand dollars for this, which is pretty cool. Um, but one thing I noticed is all these missions are not worth that much because when you think about it, if you don't have your own ship. Which you, you definitely would have your own ship when you first the game. Um, it cost a lot to use a taxi. Now, honestly, I'd rather use a taxi because um, I can actually uh, just not worry about flying to my location I gotta do the mission and the taxi can take you there for you it's just that if you're paying 80,000 for a taxi and your mission's for 150 you're only making 70,000 so doing that's kind of I'd rather fly my own ship but if you want to be lazy and use your own you know service go right ahead it's up to you not like I have seven dollars all right here we go holy shit thanks for the follow there crimson that uh no scares me i wish i could do body patrol all right here we go on final approach Well, there. Perfect. Oh, good. We're not going to be on the dark side anymore. This is our first planet I've actually landed on on the not dark side. <laughs> well, it's the uh, it's the special follow alert that Sharon made. And while I like it, I kind of wish I could lower the volume of that or something. But it is great to know that it works. Power's gonna be off. We're gonna be on the sunny side, so we don't have to worry about not looking in the dark. But the room itself won't have any have any light, so we we'll still have to use a flashlight when we get into the uh, power station. Nah, Sharon. Sharon was playing around with uh, certain you know small new features for the website and. Now we have the, the the viewer count right there in the corner in the bottom of my webcam. You know that's a that's within them. But Sharon also made a uh, follow alert that he was hopefully going to implement into uh, the dashboard. But it looks like he hasn't done it yet. But I mean the code's there in the API.
being successful. If you know how to, you know, read the API. screens. There it goes. Alright. Let's see here. Well. Where's the power station? This is a different base. Must be over here. Oh, I love testing websites. Uh, hell, I've been streaming for years. I've, I'm an OG on Twitch. Before it became Twitch, I was using it as Justin TV. That's how long I've been uh, streaming. I've you know, beta tested Mixer when it was Beam. Um, you know, I've, I've D-Live when it was an infant. Um, stuff like that. Alright, hold on. Looking for the, uh, power station. I don't see the one that says PWR. That's the command center. There it is, power station. Anyway, um, uh, Yeah, and the perk of being premium right now on D on uh, Vim is you're able to actually um, beta test certain stuff for the website, and that's what I like to do. Back online. Nope, not in here. Alright. Let's see, is it in here? Nope, can't tell. Let's see here. Let's check this room. Nope. Got a override. The Crimson, I think you're a streamer too. Don't you do like more like a podcast or at least an hyper stream? I'm trying to learn of the new people around here, you know? Or, I don't think you are new. You're, you're a little bit OG yourself, but I just rarely see you stream. is not going to help with that. <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, 
yeah, a podcast with a webcam is kind of weird. But, I mean, it's modern day podcast the way I see it. Alright, so we're going to put the regulator in here. That's under goods. Here's the regulator. Transfer to item. Nope, it didn't transfer. Okay, let's try again. Regulator. Oh, okay. There it goes. I'm still learning this new feature. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Then we press engage. And the thing goes in. And the power... That was originally a restricted area, but they gave me clearance to come here to fix it, and they gave me a bounty. I was like, why'd you give me a bounty? You told me to come here with clearance to go in. Oh, well. All right, while we're here, let's see if we can take some items. I mean, don't mind me. I mean, I, I know you hired me to fix stuff, but did you realize I'm a thief as well? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's the security system. Or at least the camera system. It's the details, uh, small details in this game that's pretty cool to see. Let's see, those are grenades. I already have grenades. Alright, what else is up here? I can still... Let's go over here. Hopefully it's not restricted over here. Do 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 or something. We got here. Ooh, we'll take that. Another locker. It's already been raided though. Let's see. Can't go in there anymore, so stole stuff when I was in there. How do I get out of here? Oh, we'll take an extra power pack. And how do I get out of here? Here's the foyer. Let's see. Oh, let's recharge my suit. Alright, so you get your charger out. I just learned how to do that yesterday. Like, I saw these charging ports, but I didn't know how to do it. I was like, oh, it's that easy. shoot at me and I should have disabled their defenses. We'll see what happens. last time and like a bug or whatever all right go 
go back here. And bam, we are good to go. So that's two out of three done. Sadly, you can't walk. You can't watch yourself walk into the cockpit. I really wish that was a thing. All right, so that one's done. All right, so the last one we're going to show off is how to do still a document. There's a graphic glitch. Alright, looks like I gotta go this way. Nope, can't. Let me go into space first. on the other side of the planet so I have to uh, at least get high enough so I can circle around the planet. This could be a long recording. <laughs> See, so yeah, from time to time, I'll do like a recording that I'm going to put on YouTube later instead of trying to record. And, uh, I've been streaming for an hour and 18 minutes, but I've been recording for an hour and eight minutes. And this could be a long ass video. But that's okay, because, um, while normally people would, um, edit videos out, make it shorter in a way, I'm, uh, not the type to upload a short video. You'll actually be watching this whole hour-long video on YouTube in the future. And the only reason for it being this long right now is the very first mission we did, the station was about five minutes away from the sun, and that's what really sucks sometimes. And uh, so I just pretty much talked about the game a little bit <laughs> during, during the 45 minutes. But as you can see, that last mission we just did didn't take that long. Uh, the missions themselves don't that long. Uh, they only they're only long if you don't properly know what you're doing, or at least just want to bullshit around when you know you can't bullshit around. Cause what I did the other day was um, I uh, was trying to restore power, like that. Mission and I didn't realize that the power room was in a room that's labeled PWR, obviously. <laughs> and I went to all the buildings, and as I'm looking for the power source, I've 
seen these lockers and I'm still in everything. So I finally, you know, uh, found the room, activated the power, and I'm back to base to sell all the stuff I picked up. And I had about as much in loot I picked up than how much the mission was worth. So <laughs> I pretty much doubled my profits. And earlier, I did sell some from the other two bases. Still some stuff from this base. Let's see, what do I have on me? Wiring, which magic mine, thrusters, and RDX, a trans. Let's see. Got a library, a canister, some other of junk. Now this right here, that one says because I actually stole it, stole it. So I have to find a way to sell that in the black market. So um, yeah, we'll see how that works. Cause I gotta learn. I gotta learn how to do certain things, and the black market is one of them. I just never sold it in the black market before, or at least in this version. Okay, so looks like we gotta go the opposite side. It's not solid. It's all dot 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 dot. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Fast. Too fast. Okay, there we go. We're in orbit. Alright, line it up. Engage. Looks like we're too high, or at least at an angle for the angle. See how those red lines? That means if you were to go into atmosphere while there's red lines in your point of view, then you won't go into a proper um, glide into the atmosphere. We're trying to glide into the atmosphere right now. And our speed's good, so we can go ahead and speed up a little bit. And now we are going to start gliding. Come on. Well, we were going to glide. A wild load. There it goes. What's funny is for this particular mission, we're actually still in an island, and um, they're allowing me to dock because, as far as they know, I'm just a. Uh, uh oh, what's now? The mission update. What was it? This particular one it says we've got to go to locker number two, and there's a key code nine one three seven. So here's the, here's the other thing that you can do to help process. We know where we got to go, so we can look up a directory and it'll give us a waypoint. And just go straight to it. Other than that, you can try to find the, by going to a locker in, in the area, but then that's a pain in the ass. Alright, um, where's the terminal? Should be a terminal over here. Terminal? Wow, look at that big ass ship. Is that an orca? Well, that's an orca. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen the orca up close before yet. Wow! That's an 
Orca. That's pretty cool. Alright, where's the terminal? Oh, oh shit. Okay, uh, there's security here. I'm wanted in a certain area, so I gotta be careful. They might shoot at me, but we'll see. The terminal? Wait, that's my ship. There'll be a terminal around here somewhere. There's a Cobra MK3. There's a terminal right there. Alright, let's see if we can figure out where it is locked. Try to get away from not being scanned by the security here, because I am wanted in a area. Alright, so we've got facility. Let's see here. Locker number two. Locker twelve. Ace uh, lockers. The hell? Or locker number two. Thank you. Alright, locker number two's over here. A little dot on my heads up display, and that's where we gotta go. I love how they uh, make so many ads and stuff in this game to make it look like it's from this universe. That is so cool. We don't have to go in here, but I'm going to go in here. There's our objective. All right, let's see here. Uh, nine one three seven. E seven. What? Locker number two. Are you kidding me? to see you too, sir. Uh, don't watch what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm about to do this one. This is my locker. I can't get into it. And not the stuff I'm supposed to get. What the fuck? That away when in our zone. Oh, let's check this other way. Oh, it's downstairs. So apparently there's two lockers that say number two on them. Uh, that's not good. That's the one we just checked, right? Where's the other one? Three. Oh, 
are you? Oh no, it's in here. Oh wait, I can go over here. Uh what? <clears throat> can you illegally, sir? Good. I'm glad I didn't have to take that any further. Oh shit. Um Wait, did I Did I check up here? This won't take just a quick scan. Scan detected. Oh, you're in trouble now, scumbag. We need reinforcements. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I still, well, see, okay, you saw it. I opened up Locker 2, and it said the stuff in there was illegal, and it's supposed to show target item or whatever. So I don't understand why I failed in that mission. I, I don't know. Reason for assault crime. No shit, because I stole shit. All right, so they took me to jail. I'm, uh, gotta find a $12,000? Good God. Well, one of them was my bounty that was on me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Wait, come on, redeploy. There it goes. Oh, well, y'all get a chance to see what it's like to take a taxi. Because you're forced to take a taxi back to where your ship was. Um. Gosh, if I can remember where I was. Let's see. No Wait. Exit. Oh, this way. Welcome to Apex Interstellar, the first step to everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, looks like we're going back to 1980. Where's my? Where's my ship? Interstellar transport accepts. My ship is on that planet. Including, but not limited to, gravity sickness, altitude sickness, but, 
motor control, loss of hearing, permanent paralysis, muscle atrophy, temporary paralysis, face fatigue, loss of sight, nausea, temporary blindness, and catastrophic failure. Is that where my ship See, it's going to cost me 39000 just to go back to my ship. Your shuttle is ready to depart. Have a but good see, trip. two things that can happen. I can either have a shuttle take me back to my ship, or I can just go to any space station, and uh, that's the wrong door. Uh, go to any space station and um, have my ship be delivered to me. And it's going to cost as much. In this video, you get a chance to see what it's like. Maybe I can show you off this part. And then when we're done, we'll get back on my ship with missions, and I'll be in this video. And actually, it might be the end of the stream too, because uh, I just realized what time it is. I got people coming over in 30 minutes or so. <laughs> All right, so this is the NPC right there flying for me. So we're just going to sit back and relax. Rest in this area, I think it'd take about three weeks in the taxi ride. My actual ship has a better jump range. Oh, yeah, I think we have another two jumps. Strange, I heard my phone go off, but I can't find it. On this charger. Frameshift drive charging.
asked about a package. <laughs> I spent that package and I thought the notification tell me where it is. Let's see, it is this is the package. The third one. It's still on its way. Where is Des Moines, Iowa from here? Today is the twenty-first. I was that that far from here. Is it tested by Saturday? So we'll see if it gets here. So that's usually okay. The funny thing is, my sister's going to the game too, but they have different tickets because they have a, they're actually corporate sponsors. So, This is the right spot that I was at. Two flights engaged. Wait, is she seriously trying to be Southern? She doesn't even look Southern. <laughs> well, I mean, she could be a, a skinhead. Southerner. <laughs> See you again soon. Redneck wannabe. <laughs> right here. Where's my ship? Alright, let's uh navigate this apex. It says dismiss ships so and it means it's actually in the area. Yes. 
I was about to dismiss my ship and then I was like, oh shit, there it is. <laughs> well, we failed this mission because we got arrested, so I can't do it. We can go ahead and do the other missions, so we'll do that now. Pay my fine. Why does it tell me to pay my fine again? bounty and why am I wanted here I tried to put a flagpole on my front porch, but, um, the, uh, stuff on its stick, and the, uh, porch itself is made out of brick, and, uh, I don't feel like... It's just risky because you can't easily repair brick. Drywall, whatever. Final, whatever it is.
Okay, I'm like, I could have swore I paid for that shit. Alright. We're gonna turn in our, uh... Mission. The one mission that we can turn in from the ship. for uh, turning in your stuff, that's pretty cool. And then the other guy, because we actually gotta meet him, so... for some I knew you had what it takes got some money worth one million definitely worth it come back sometime I might have something new yeah that's good cuz uh, I need some money <laughs> all right so that's pretty much it of how long it's going to take to actually uh, missions but uh, either way uh, that was it here's the view from uh, bar area but um, yeah it's a uh, odyssey as you can see it's pretty fun uh, there's gonna be other stuff I'll be doing in the near future I'm about to do my first uh, landfall um, Sometime this weekend, I already know of a planet that um, is personally mine because I was the first to scan and the first to uh, to map. And I'm sorry, the first to find and the first to map. And I want to be the first footfall. And um, we'll see. Um, we're going to do that on a later date. So anyway, um, that's it for this recording. So. Uh, I appreciate you watching the whole thing. It's really awesome that you've gone this far video. But uh, that's it for this broadcast. And uh, thank you for watching and looking forward to uh, making some more videos for you guys about Odyssey. Anyway, this is Shufunk signing off.